Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, What's Trending with KC. If you haven't followed me on social media, kindly follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at KC1. And in case you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification so that you are reminded each time I post a new video. So, on this episode, we will be looking at the top trending events that happened this past week. In case you missed out on one or two, I'm here to remind you. Ken Dumbo got married, the AJ got married, and there's a businessman who bought something for a whole lot. Mm, for a million, for a fortune. And that got social media buzzing. So what am I talking about? Join me right after this. about the farmer that bought the president's jacket hey! and people say we don't have money uh -uh. you're the only one who doesn't have money people have money to spend hmm. so in case you missed out and you don't know what was trending during the week you were busy or you were out or you're outside Zambia and you don't know what's happening I'm here to remind you so let's get straight into what happened this past week and the first thing we talk about is the AJ from the group Urban Hype got married this past week to the beautiful, gorgeous lady. In case you missed out on their wedding or you haven't seen any pictures on their social media platforms, here is a short clip video from their wedding. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was the only clip that was shared on social media no picture no other video congratulations to you the ej and your beautiful gorgeous wife on your wedding the zambian national team aka the chipolo polo boys beats mauritania 4-0 with three goals being scored by Fashion Sakala, who plays abroad. Now, the team played so well such that Fashion scored three and Patson Daka opened the scoreline as he scored his only goal. Congratulations, Chipolo Polo. The goals kept on coming in. It was net for season, yo. You missed out a lot. I enjoyed watching this match. Thank you for giving us a good match. This boy went viral months back after he was caught stealing onion by a teacher. And since then, a lot of people have been donating school staff and clothes to him and his family. And both the boy and the mother are looking awesome as you can see in this picture posted by Remy Kangwa and they still continue to receive awesome gifts. Keep it up. Cleo Ice Queen, the Zambian artist and former Big Brother representative launched her new video titled Osaibala. You can go and watch her latest video Osaibala on her YouTube channel at Cleo Ice Queen as you can see from this screenshot. And the event was attended by many local Zambian celebrities to show support to Cleo Ice Queen's video launch. Awesome. Badman Sharpie from Urban Hype released his latest single titled Icho, which is produced by DJ Draw and features Zambia's dance hall daddy Tishan. So support Badman Sharpie by downloading this song. Deborah, aka the baddest girl, who came on the scene with a controversial song titled Yadiba Pena, released her latest single Don't Judge Me, which features Chester. So you can find this song on a YouTube channel as well as Audio Mark. Stream it there. Support Zambia music. K 
Ken Dumbo, the Zambian comedian and MC, got married this past weekend to the gorgeous, beautiful bride. Wow, this wife is awesome. <laughs> The couple had a beautiful ceremony as well as a church celebration which was attended by many local celebrities such as Cosmos and his wife, b -Flo and the rest, Chichi Daisy, Yo Maps and the wife. A lot of celebrities attended this wedding. Congratulations to Ken Dumbo and his wife and I'm wishing them the best in their marriage. Hani Kansime, the Ugandan comedian, came to Zambia last week. She was accompanied by her partner and their son, and she attended several radio interviews as well as several shows in Copper Belt as well as Lusaka, where she hosted the main event. She also met with a lot of other celebrities, and her event was graced by many Zambian local comedians such as Vubwe, Ken Dumbo, LCD and many others. Also the African Joker was there and the event was a success as you can see it was fully packed. Now the story that got social media buzzing was the president's Met Gala dinner which saw the president's jacket which he wore when he was in prison auctioned for 2.5 million yes you heard that right 2.5 million and was bought by the graduate farmer mr jonathan kondowe wow <laughs> Social media went crazy after news broke out that Mr. Jonathan bought the president's jacket at 2.5 million. Guys, this farmer is loaded. Congratulations. And he's a good businessman because he knows that in the coming years he can sell the jacket for 10 times, if not 11 times more. Wow. At the gala dinner, the president's tie which he wore when he was being sworn in as a president was auctioned and sold at 250000 as well as his white gloves was sold at 250000 and the Let You Be ND founder Mr. Mazoka's scarf was sold for 300000 Wow! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at K01. And tell me which one was your favorite event that happened this past week. Leave your comment in the comment section below.